Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. If you're finding me today, I have a 2020 Subaru WRX STI. Super excited to get behind the, behind the wheel of this beautiful rally bred sedan. Now, of course, uh, I've never driven a, uh, an STI before in basically long terms. I've been in one a very long time ago, but I have not never driven in one. So this is an uh, ice uh, silver metallic color that we have in this Subaru uh, STI here. Uh, as you can see, it looks awesome with the yellow or highlighter yellow painted calipers. We got the 19 inch know. wheels that fit uh, into a rally or rally fan as I've been for a very long time. You know, Super WRX STI has been basically one of the, you know, iconic rally cars that um, every enthusiast uh, follows. You it's, you know, it's so got the big here. wing. You got, this is kind of a little bit, it's a little bit modified. This has got a aftermarket exhaust. Of course, you got that, not that normal wing. That's not, that actually doesn't improve too much in the uh, rear yeah, view. Of course, it's got uh, a little bit light tinted windows. Coming around here, guys. Uh, coming up here, we have the 19 inch wheels. We start running two 45 millimeter tires all around. These are uh, Yokohama Advent Sports. And of course, we got that 13.4 inch rotor here in the front with the uh, four piston caliper up here. And uh, you know, it's just a super nice package so from Super nice. So we come up here, here, of course. Um, coming up here, we have the uh, daytime running light, of course, with a LED headlight. And uh, of course, also high beam. There's no fog lights here, anything like that in the bottom. And we have a dark tinted uh, front grille. Lower uh, chin spoiler here. There are no type of any type of uh, oh no sensors. All we got is the Subaru badge and they are, of course, the STI badge that we have. Uh, of here, course, so. we got that uh, you know kind of iconic hood scoop that the STI has always had. This one doesn't have any type of sunroof. I don't believe the STIs do. We got your mirror here with your side lights, and then we have another STI badge here on the side with a little bit of lower side body cells here in the bottom. So really cool. I really love the way this looks. It's an awesome looking sedan. Coming back here, STI badge. Subaru with symmetrical all-wheel drive. Of course, you got the lower uh, diffuser here that has a bit of fins on it with the sport. And of course, you got the exhaust here as well. So, all right, guys, let's take a quick look at that boxer engine of the Subaru. All right, guys, so here we have the WR Axis engine here. Let's open up this hood, which is awesome. That's hydraulically uh, assistant with the hood props. All right, so here we have Subaru's 2.5 liter Boxer 4 engine. Of course, we get a bigger intercooler here on the top. It does have a blow up valve. We just I recently drove it. Uh, this is producing 310 horsepower, normally stock, 290 pound feet of torque. Of course, going to a six speed manual, going to the asymmetrical all wheel drive system. Now, this does have an electronically you know, adjustable center differential, which you can adjust the power to the front side, which is really cool. It's something that the STI offers. Now this does have an aftermarket intake. As you can see, we have a Cobb intake system, which is, sounds really awesome. There is a slight blow up, blow up as well that I hear when I started the engine. So really nice and clean. Of course, this is, you know, it's not Japan's engine. As far as I know, I'm not really knowledgeable of these engines, but um, you know, they're awesome power plants. Um, and I know you can modify into extents with a lot of modifications and, and that, but this is how, you know, it's a little bit aftermarket. I'm sure it's got a little more horsepower than usual, but um, this is what it is from this Subaru. So I think it's an awesome engine and uh, sounds fantastic. I love the sound of this box point, especially from Subaru. So, all right, let's put this engine down and uh, get this door. There we go, guys. Having this awesome hood scoop, which is functional, of course, for the uh, big intercooler on the top of the engine. So. All right, let's just check out quickly here the trunk of this Subaru here. Of course, we got some LED lights here as well from the back. We got the huge spoiler here of that's really big. Of course, we got. We do have a backup camera as well. STI badge. Here we got. Of course, we got some floor mats here from Subaru. We also got some extra ones here. Not for not bad of a space here in the back. Uh, of course, these are just normal, you know, Japanese sedan, which is a small, just a regular trunk. I don't think this is, has any type of spare. No, we got just. Uh, we have a jack and something like that. We got a little bit more room in the back, but not too much. But. Um, I don't think this has, as far as I have a tire, a, a, you know, an inflator kit or something like that. As you can see, there are some wheel locks there as well. So it's not bad of a trunk size for, for this sedan. And of course, uh, that spoiler actually, I was driving it just slightly. This spoiler is not actually too bad in the rear for rear visibility since it's kind of higher. Let's just head inside the driver's side of this STI. So coming up here front, entire leather here with the red stitching. We got for the piano kind of black trim here on the window controls. Uh, which are just regular here. We got also your mirror controls as well on the door. A um, little bit of a uh, cup holders here. Coming up here, we got your STI batch on the door sill. And uh, really nice the way this interior is with the red leather, red stitching in the, 
in the F-Contour in the middle, which I really love. Here we have your STI uh, steering wheel, which is awesome with a feel, feel small in your hands. Got the STI badge here, and it's kind of a flat bottom there as well for the steering wheel. So really awesome looking interior. You got some lights here, trunk catch, traction control off here. Just a regular kind of Subaru interior. It's really nice. I really like the way they you know, Subaru does these interiors as well. So we got a little third extra window here. I love the design of this mirrors here on the door, which is really awesome. I think that's a really nice, unique look. So, all right, guys, let's head inside. All right, so here we are inside, inside the cockpit of this STI. I really love the way the steering wheel feels in your hands, really nice. The leather feels awesome, along with some red stitching here. Uh, feels really good. It's kind of small, which I really like. I uh, really love the way everything's laid out here. I uh, got plenty of visibility too. The windows are kind of big and the low, the, the belt line is low, which is awesome. Now these seats are awesome here. I don't think these are the uh, optional Ricardo seats, if I'm correct. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, guys, here on the on the comments. Here I'm not uh, all knowledgeable of the STIs, but uh, I think it's a great car. Nonetheless, you got a pretty good size lock box here. Of course, you got your six-inch screen here. Infotainment, that, you know, shows you, of course, you got your dual Sony C here. Let's go ahead, guys, and uh, get this started. Of course, we're neutral here. Go ahead and press our clutch in. Oh yeah, that sounds awesome. Really awesome sounding uh, exhaust that this car has. We have uh, an aftermarket shift knob, that's for sure. Uh, I believe there is a short shifter on this because this feels way shorter than I think would uh, basically an, uh, a stock car would feel. 12 volt uh, connection there. I don't see any USB connections here at all. I'm trying to look at them here. Um, yeah, there's a couple of connections here in the middle USB. This is also uh, the uh, sonar arm is also here is in suede. Of course, here we got your USB connections here in the middle. Of course, here we got your cup holders that this kind of lights up and down. We have also seat heaters as well, which is awesome uh, for both front seats. Here we have your uh, electronically adjustable differential, center differential with all kinds of adjustments. I'm not familiar with this at all, not a lot, but I believe we got some def definitely some way you can adjust the uh the center differential for a sport drive and all that kind of stuff so we got your six speed manual those sony shift the temperature here and all that stuff six inch screen here which is subaru starlink system uh obviously this is pretty basic i don't see any type of uh rear home here we got phone we got solid media apps i don't think this has any type of um navigation or anything like that uh coming to media and uh no media available so let's go here guys and go to the radio so Obviously, this is this, uh, well, it sounds all right. This has got a six speakers uh, bass system in this one here. All right, guys, before we get um, into this, go ahead and just uh, let's take a come we got close the door, but just hear that engine. Oh, yeah, that is definitely some nice exhaust. And it is loud, it is quite loud. Uh, this aftermarket exhaust. So, all right, guys, let's close the door to have a little more quietness here. And let's put on our seatbelt. Uh, it's gonna be got a digital. Uh, about a three inch screen here in the middle of the digital speedometer there's some miles per hour all your basic instrumentation there analog speedometer and tachometer you got controls for your lights your wipers here in the middle we got a little screen which is awesome shows you your boost as you can see here i'm gonna do a little bit of that throttle there of course you got your peak boost here uh this this little control here little knob controls uh, different settings you got boost average miles per hour acceleration this key is the jaw and the type of symmetry that the car has which is awesome miles per gallon all that kind of stuff that shows you here we got also a clock here as well but we'll leave it there at the, uh, where the boost gauge is also you know still a really nice clock with the way this is it's really comfortable it's got a really nice size of room so we got no center for anything Ton type of trim here on the top we got of course the mirrors here we got some lights here as well and we got an sos button here kind of like a starting system kind of like something like what gm has so I love the way it's really nice laid out this dash for dashboard even though it's an older layout you know this has been for a while all the instrumentation uh is very well readable everything's really nice uh the windows are nice everything feels great of course we got a manually adjustable steering wheel as you can see here uh tilting and telescoping and uh the seats are also manual so we got a little bit of manual seating here which is nice we got a manual uh emergency brake here so all right guys so yeah this is a pretty short shifter definitely a bit short so but uh let's go ahead guys and get this out for a drive kind of getting used to that throttle and the, and the clutch which is a little different obviously this thing really you know kind of already feels direct you know feels solid i love the steering with the way it feels 
Um, yeah, you can already feel the suspension is is a little bit uh, sports car stiff or rally car stiff. Of course, this is riding on 19 inch wheels, uh, 245 Advan tires on it. So uh, it's got pretty good size uh, tires on it all around. Oh yeah, yeah, the suspension is definitely the, oh yeah, yeah, the suspension is definitely stiff. But this is what you expect of an STI model, so I'm not complaining, but I love, I love this type of suspension. This is my, you know, this is basically my cup of tea of cars, so. Yeah, I hope, I hope that comes through guys around. You can hear that uh, blow up valve and exhaust, which it does sound awesome. Uh, really really nice car I mean I love the way everything is it's really you know you can just tell this is a driver's car uh, everything the way it feels um, exhaust of course this is a modified exhaust so um, I'm sure somebody spent some money on the exhaust intake of course that cup intake is not gonna be cheap um, but I can't wait this is an awesome car. I wish I wish we can take this off slightly a bit off-road but all right let's head out here Yeah, it's definitely a short shifter for sure. Wow, no, this was awesome. Very good feeling car. You can tell this is just kind of focused on driving the way it technically it feels, you know, it feels so nimble, uh, feels ready to play. The chassis was awesome, you can tell. Of course, as I apologize, it's the, the exhaust sound might be a little loud we'll pick up in the, in the basically we'll pick it up in the camera but obviously the microphone but uh yeah this feels fantastic this car shift is nice this has definitely got a short shifter in it i don't know if, i've never driven another stock sti but this kind of does feel like it's got a short shifter this is obviously an aftermarket uh shift knob obviously so oh yeah that sounds awesome Visibility is awesome in this car. Oh yeah, this is just this just feels focused. I love the way this car feels. Now I just drove the Supra to the Supra. This is a different feeling car. Uh, it's a little more refined car. I'll put it in fit here. But uh, this car just feels more raw. It feels ready to go, ready to rock it out of the corners. Um, this feels fantastic. Though. I, I tell you this. This is a little bit better than I was expecting from an STI. It feels really awesome. You got a, of course, you got your boost cage here. Um, let's go ahead and get in this thing, guys, here. Really feels awesome, this car. I, I definitely, wow, yeah, it's an awesome. Yeah, the brakes, yeah, the brakes feel sweet, too. Oh, man. say it has a similar feeling to the Focus RS that I drove as well um, this is of course got a dollar exhaust but it's got that same type of note um, I know that exhaust from the uh, the RS was kind of different as well it's had an exhaust but they both kind of feel similar the way they pull uh, the way they feel you know it's a very similar feeling to it so I remember but uh, yeah this car feels fantastic everything's well laid out uh, really really very impressive with this Impressa uh, you know, press, press with the Impressa WRX STI. I know this, this is basically a straight WRX STI, but man, this is an awesome car. This thing just feels so direct, so playful. Um, steering was very nice. A lot of feeling to it. I think it's got really good feeling to it. Um, obviously, I just saw the Supra. The Supra had a nice feeling as well. Um, that's more of a refined kind of a GT car that's very quick. Definitely quicker than this. But um, this feels fantastic though. This Super the Impressa is a really good feeling car to be honest, so. Yeah, the exhaust is a little bit loud for every day. Um, it's not horribly loud, but um,
No, but it's nice. Not bad. I mean, it's it's still tall work for every day. Yeah, this car just this car could be here. Of course, you know we're doing the trash drive, and I'm gonna push this thing a lot. So yeah, this thing just turns in so nice. Really, really love the way this car feels. To be honest, so. Yeah, that exhaust sounds fantastic. The intake and the blow up valve just wow make the experience really awesome. So, what do you guys think? I mean, I, 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 I'm very impressed with the SSTI, kind of what I was expecting. Uh, feels awesome, direct car, stiff suspension. Uh, you know, obviously, this is you know, it's a very car that's meant to go or meant to do what it's meant to do, so you know, it's a a reality car and it's just what it does best so of course you guys we got a line for testing of uh, you know yeah fortunately yeah things are heating up a little bit again but um, this guy's not going here no problem. coming yeah we got a line again for testing so I've seen this before because this testing center has been there for a little bit this is the first time I've seen this thing where the line goes on so oh boy all right guys let's continue with our awesome test drive here of this STI man this thing is nice The boost kind of goes differently throughout the rev range, but the uh, gears. But yeah, it feels nice. It feels awesome. First time, you know, I've, I've not driven one of these before, so just getting used to the the throttle, the clutch, the short shifter here. It feels awesome. This this yeah, this STI feels awesome. Uh, fantastic car, guys, and I uh, hope you guys been enjoying this touch up of this STI. Um, hope the top the noise is not too bad in the microphone with the exhaust. So it's just a little bit drowning. So now, of course, this is a used. Uh, it's got just over just under just over 1,200, 12,800 miles. So it's, a, it's a basically a brand new STI. Um, I believe they're asking about 43,000, 45. I'll put that information, guys, up in the screen for you. Um, awesome, awesome STI. Yeah, I gotta get more used to it. You know, of course, the more you drive, this is just a quick drive that I'm doing on it. So. We do have a backup camera, guys. Let's check it out. We're gonna rest this and go to the back. Uh, of course, uh, the resolution is pretty nice. It's not, we have no type of sensors or anything like that, but you got the resolution on. It's not bad at all. Yeah, this has got a lot of potential, and uh, the more you get to drive it, the more, you, of course, you gotta get used to the power and everything. So, uh, but it feels awesome. I love this thing. Uh, really, really impressive. Uh, but this is still feels fantastic. It is. It does feel a little bit older in the tooth and certain things, but. Um, Still is very fun, super fun car. Um, just as fun as the STI, the uh, ST that I drove, the excuse me, the uh, Ford RS that I drove in a Supra. So both of those cars have that, you know, that super fun Watching. feeling to them. So awesome car. This is what I really expected of this, the STI line. So um, you guys have a fantastic day. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you to all those who have subscribed, and uh, we'll see you on the next video, guys. Take care. Bye bye.